You can't run away from bad karma. That is the thing. Whether it is your own or it is, you know, somebody else, especially somebody else. And if you're willing to take it, it has effect, yeah? And the body is also refined by spiritual practice. But then the karma doesn't understand about refine or not refine. You see what I mean? The karma is heavy, but the body is refined. So if you take heavy measurement, the body suffers much more. You see what I mean? The body always tries to repair itself. See what I mean? All the cells are already programmed that we could even live forever, as long as we want it. But we have been damaged. We have been reprogrammed into death, illness, and all that, yes? And then as a collective consciousness, we accept this fact. Like, we get sick someday, we will die one day. Everybody thinks like that. The whole planet, billions and billions of people, project this kind of consciousness. Because some of them sick before, and everybody look at that and say, oh yes, it will be my turn next. And then the way we live our life, you know, not clean, not healthy before, meat and alcohol and cigarette and all that. I heard somebody say somewhere like, if you ever touch a drop of alcohol or just smoke one cigarette, that means you don't want to live long. You don't want to live long inside you, yes. And that's why people give up, you see? Give up, say, oh, it doesn't matter. I died one way or another, so why deny myself of cigarette or meat or alcohol and such stuff? Yes, we become weaker and weaker. Our resistance become, you know, lower and lower until almost zero, yes? But otherwise, the body is programmed for us to be happy, healthy, strong, invincible, except accident, of course. Every day they repair, you see? That eliminates millions of dead cells and making new ones all the time. But if we over-abuse it, the body just stops. It can't cope anymore. And then it just stay in sickness, you see what I mean? So you see, we just have to do what we can, huh? Yeah. So don't drive yourself crazy, I don't advise that. But what I mean is, we could do anything we want to, huh? including enduring pains, because it becomes so used to it also. It seems like natural after a while. What I mean is, our body has even been designed to renew itself forever, and we, are the ones who truly create problems for ourselves, including diseases, yeah? They are all self-made. You see, truly, our body should be forever. Our body can be trained even, even after injury, can be trained to go back to normal. You know, many people do, right? Some athlete doctor have pronounced that he could never walk again, for example let alone play football again, like usual, or play basketball. But somebody made it. Some people made it. You know, there are plenty of examples. Strong willpower and time and good, good personal trainer or doctor or coach, yes? Expert help you, yes? Okay? We can do everything, actually, with our body, provided our mind we are mentally prepared. Yes, we prepare to go to fire. We prepare to go to hell, to hell for others. Yes, I am prepared all the time. I say I don't mind if I go to hell, thousand days, thousand times, thousand years, if that would awaken the whole planet and save them, you know? Not by save them by magic, because if I save the planet, they will continue killing each other, even if I can without going to hell. You see what I mean? Even if I know how. What do I do for that? What, what for? Save them and they continue to make war with each other, develop more atom bombs, huh? space missiles dropping on everybody's head, and continue torturing billions of animals, you know, on a daily basis. Do you understand me? 
I can, I won't do it. But I would go through fire if that make them awaken and change their way of life. Do you understand me? That's a different. Love is unconditional, but my condition is that. Unconditional condition. <laughs> See what I mean? The body is truly incredible. It's truly incredible. It's a pity that uh, most of us abuse it, yes, and really damage it to an extent that difficult to repair. Even then, can repair. Just like sometimes the employee of some factory, they don't agree with some things, and they keep working and they don't get nowhere, so they, they went on strike. Yes, body also went on strike. Now, the body of a human are much more sophisticated than the body of many other beings around us, you know, right? The animal even. I just tell you an example. For example, the bird, the parrot, yes? They could live to 100, 150 years old. So delicate. I mean, look at Sunny. He looked big, but he's only a suit, you know. <laughs> a lot of feather and puff up. But if he loses all his feather, it's about this much only. You see what I mean? About double of the size of my foot. He could live up to 100 or 150 years old. And my little, little yellow cockatiel could live up to 30, 40 years. Huh? Like many of a human. You understand me? Such a delicate small, fragile structure like a bird could live to hundreds. So we are truly ashamed. <laughs> if any of us live to hundred, huh? Oh, or even 99.9 <laughs> or 80. Oh, he lived he live to the ripe age of 89. <laughs> you know that very well, right? Yeah, ripe age of 89, something like that. And if anybody lived to 100, huh? centenaire, huh? or over 100, oh, you see, he's all over on the news, you know. And when he died, the whole country, you know, comes out. Recently, there's one veteran, huh? he, he died at 112 something, the UK war veteran, World War veteran. Oh, everybody make eulogy, yeah, at his funeral or at home by themselves, <laughs> by distance, you know, remote control, yeah. You understand me? Everybody make a big deal because he lived to over 100 years old. My parrot can well do that. <laughs> yeah, the way, the way they, they're doing, the doctor told me that they were going to live forever. <laughs> yeah, they have. Vitamin even, eh? have good seed. I mean, not the 50 kilogram, you know. <laughs> oh, selected one. They go and buy those dainty packet, packet, human quality, <laughs> human grade, and they call it, oh, jeez. I say, it's no need to be so exaggerating. But you just become used to it, you know. So they eat uh, good nuts, good seed, good vegetable, fresh fruit every day. Or oh, dry fruits also, yeah? And that's all they eat. In the wild, they eat even less. It depends on what they have. Not so selected and not so regular like that. And still they live long, long time. So the body doesn't really need a lot of food to live a long time. The body is an incredible miracle. We truly are very, very silly. We have been very silly to have damaged it. And then one DNA of this father-mother body passed down to the next generation is the same stuff. See what I mean? And then it's imposed on us, it's ingrained within our memory that we're going to die at that ripe age, age of <laughs> well, 80, something like that, or 100, you know. There are only a handful of people who live over a hundred, yeah? a handful of people, and they document them, you know. 
they put you know world record who lives the longest up to date 120 is the longest for example yeah we surely should rethink the way we live our life as as a human race you know we have done too badly too poorly to ourselves and now the supreme master ching hai or the scientists whoever tell us that Please, be vegetarian. You live longer, healthier. What is that? (laughs) Vegetable? (laughs) It's a pity, no? If our ancestors, our great-great-great-grandparent, great-great-great-great-ancestor, did not start this meat-eating, degrading habit, we this generation would have been living long, 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 huh? and no sickness, no trouble. And all these billions of dollars of tax money would not be diverted into the hospital business. Yes, and so many suffering, heartbreak would not have happened between family members, between loved ones who lost their beloved family member. See what I mean? Yeah. It's a pity, truly. Just like flu virus. They call it the virus of our own hatching. Yeah, we made it. And the poor swine had to suffer for it also. Okay, any other question?